Hello. This is the first video of 2024 and it's also the first video in months on my YouTube channel. This is Uncut with KJH. I am a celebrity makeup artist based in New York City and I am called Katie. I'm also the founder of a brand called KJH Brand that was launched in 2023, in September. And I'm going to show you my 2023 favourites. It is now 2024. These will all be linked below. These are things that either launched in 2023 or things that I think just became, oops, my favourite things in 2023 bit about this uh, concept of this channel, if you're new here, is that Uncut with KJH is an unedited video platform here on YouTube where I basically don't edit the videos. Someday I might have a more edited version of shorter, more streamlined videos, but for now I um, like to make it easy on myself and I like to show you the everything, the good, the bad and everything in between. And so um, that normally is more fun on a look where I'm doing an actual full in-depth makeup tutorial so that you can see the mistakes that happen along the way from a professional makeup artist. Um, but I'm gonna do my makeup sort of with all the products on my desk here as I talk you through why they are some of my favorites of 2023. And I'm gonna do lip first because I've already got my skincare on, I've already got a little bit of concealer on, so I'm gonna skim you through the skincare faves and why without really applying them. Uh, and I'm gonna start with lip. This is by far my favorite lip liner pencil of 2023. It is the Nabla Lip Shaper, close-up lip shaper in number one. Number one for me specifically because I just love the shade, but I actually love this product in general for many, many people. It comes in a bunch of different tones of nude all the way up to like a deep red. It's just the perfect like lip pencil. If you use too much, it definitely goes a little bit gray. It's very waxy, so it's gonna last a long time on the mouth, um, but like a quick thin layer around the edge literally just enhances my natural lip shape without adding too much darkness. I love Endless Cacao from Makeup Forever. This is a little bit more wearable. So that's number one favorite, number one lip pencil by Nabla. My next thing, I literally bought like probably two days before New Year's Eve. So this just cre crept in to uh, my 2023 favorites. This is the Notorium uh, Fito Phyto Glow Lip Balm in the shade Jam. Um, I really like this because I like that you kind of have to squeeze a bit to get it out. That definitely depends on climate, but I love the shade. It's like a sheer berry with a lot of gloss. Sticky enough so that you know that it's there, but it's not sticky to the point where I feel like your hair would get stuck on it. It's just a gorgeous lip balm that I'm sure is packed with gorgeous ingredients. You can use it as a lip mask, which I totally would to wake up the full little sheer pout color. Um, gorgeous, really beautiful product. And I'm so excited to try more from Notorium. I hear great things. So this is my favorite lip balm of 2023, even though I've only had it for a couple of weeks. I already know. As a makeup artist, you tend to realize pretty quickly if you're gonna love something or if you're gonna not love something because of just experience. Next, skincare. I'm gonna go right into skincare. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna work with makeup and then I'm gonna go into skincare because I've got not enough color on my face for my comfort level to be on camera. So I'm gonna build it while I'm sitting in here talking to you. My friend, Nikki DeRoost, incredible, incredible celebrity makeup artist. She is based in LA. She created this brand called CL. Everything has SPF in it. It's a really genius product line. Two products from her line are actually my favorites for this year. Um, and this is the blush. This is called Giselle. And the name is the Mineral SPF, sorry, the name is the Blush and Protect SPF 50. The reason why I love this is because from a makeup artist perspective, the teeniest, teeniest amount goes a very, very long way. And I will show you exactly what I mean with that tiny little drop. Um, she's doing you a solid by giving you lots and lots and lots of product. This will last you forever. I feel like you'll, you know, other than like, you know, expiration dates and stuff, it, it's not, it's not ever going to run out maybe, depending on how often you use it. But it's just the most gorgeous, like, pink flush of color. There's four shades, or I think five shades of this. It's a beautiful, beautiful product, and I just love that everything has SPF built into it. Obviously, this is more supplementary of an SPF because it's a blush, it's not over the surface of your face, but her tinted serum, which is something you put over the surface of your face, is incredible. But I love it. I just love the sheen. I love how it just sort of radiates skin, um, and so that is my favorite blush of 2023. My favorite eyebrow gel of 2023 goes without being said, Epic Brow from Bodyography. This is a brow gel that is from my friend's brand, Bodyography, Lori. She's an incredible, incredible product developer. She really knows how to make a good product. Has a brow gel on one side. I have two shades here as I use both shades on myself daily. And then the other end has this super micro fine tip pen, which really just gives you these super fine little strokes of hair in the eyebrow area and I've obviously already got it on but I'm trying to give you a bit of an example of how thin the strokes are I'll probably do another video with this soon 
but just like it's perfect. It couldn't be more perfect. I love it so, so much. I love her, she's incredible. And if you haven't yet tried this, I would try it. I like both shades personally. Um, and so I would suggest, let me tell you how much it is. I would suggest getting both shades if you are, it's $20. So for $40, you can have both shades. And I, the reason why I suggest both, both shades, I appreciate that's not in everybody's sort of, you know, bandwidth. Um, the reason why I like both shades is because you can really create so much more dimension when you have two colors of a brow product. Um, that also could be you get one shade of this and maybe you have a different color brow gel to be able to just create a bit of dimension. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It's just more of a thing that I think is a nice to have um, as far as like, you know, being able to create texture and dimension in your makeup. Okay. The other thing that is one of my favorites of 2023 is the Swipe Concealer from Tower 28. I love this. I'm using the shade 3CC. I think C stands for cool. Um, and I really like just the finish of it. It just looks like skincare. It's very lightweight. It doesn't sort of feel heavy on the skin at all. I like to just sort of press it in with a little brush and sort of sweep it around and it's just gorgeous. It's really, really, really special. I actually first ever tried this concealer on somebody else um, and it happened to be my friend Becca, who's South Asian and it was incredibly easy to find her shade. Um, I think it's incredibly easy to find shades in this concealer in general. Uh, but I noticed that that was like really, really straightforward and as it should be, but I love, just love this concealer. So if you're a fan of Tower 28 and you haven't tried their complexion yet, I would maybe start with this. Um, I just think it's a really, really beautiful skin-like coverage, great for your kit. It's a huge, huge amount of product. And so if you are like me and you only wear my concealers usually and you sort of use foundations less, I use concealer 80% of the time, I use foundations 20% of the time. Um, I like a big fill of a product like that. I think it's a really nice sort of, um, nice to have a big fat component of product. Um, while I'm on complexion, I'm gonna talk you through this. Not necessarily gonna apply it because I think I've shown this off a bunch. This is Glossier stretch fluid foundation i wear the shade light three it's no surprise that stretch concealer from glossier is one of my favorite 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 concealers of all time i use it on pretty much everyone it's just gorgeous and delicious on the skin this is no different this is actually a little bit more i would say the coverage level feels very similar to me in the aspect of how much they can cover this probably a little bit more based on how i use them but this is a bit more velvety on the skin. Um, and so if you like a vel velvety matte finish on the skin, I would suggest this. If you are going to use it with stretch concealer, I would say do this first, then do stretch concealer just to boost, boost and moisturize areas of the face where you want more sheen as well as more coverage. But you can totally use them separately of one another or together. Um, and so I love, love, love this product. And I love how they did the shade range. I think the product development team really nailed how the shades are deciphered. It's basically categories from very light through very deep. So very light, light, Media, medium, deep, medium, tan, deep, deep, dark, I forget, um, very deep. Each of those categories has numbers and each number has a undertone reference, which is ex explained on the website. So it's like, you can say, well, I think I am very light, but uh, you know, I wouldn't say I'm a peach undertone. I'd say I'm more of a yellow and it will tell you that on the website. And therefore then you can go and be like, oh great. Okay. So then I'm very light, you know, too, because I think I'm yellow or I think I'm neutral or I think I'm olive. So it's a really easy, well-explained um, system of how to shape match. And I think the editors in the stores around the world are very, very good at helping you do that as well. So don't hesitate to go into a glossy and check it out. My favorite mascara launch of 2023 was the Drift Mascara. Actually, it's called Make Waves, but the shade is Drift. I've not actually got this on. I've got on a red from Dior because I just did a mushroom girl makeup look that I did for TikTok because I thought, why not try and make something go viral for the fun of it, for the fun of social media. Um, and this is Drift in brown from Tower 28. The best mascara in the world is, in my opinion, is this one in black and now it comes in brown. So I was so excited to have both of these in my kit, in my professional bag, as well as my sort of personal stash. It's just the most gorgeous mascara. If you like full juicy lashes that are like defined and strengthened and lengthened and fat like you'll love this mascara for a little sort of funky little you know miscellaneous makeup product that sort of some people will want some people won't want is the freckle pen from rudy berry i use this um i think the first time i used this was when Hailey Bieber told me about it, I believe. Um, and I think I already had it in my kit and she was like, oh yeah, the Rudy, Berry, the Rudy Berry one. And I was like, oh, I think I forgot that. And then I got it out and we did it on her face. It was when she was in New York doing something, some press with Krispy Kreme for um, the uh, limited edition flavored um, road 
peptide lip treatment. Anyway, she made me fall in love with it and um, that it just came back in stock a few days ago and it's amazing. So if you haven't yet tried it, it is definitely the best freckle pen that I think has ever been created. Um, I will say that and I will hold my, um, I will I will give them that award of whatever that means for them. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous product. Okay, I've got one more makeup item, two more makeup items before I go on to tools and skincare. Hopefully this isn't too rambly, but um, I also want to know in the comments below, like, are any of these your favorites also? Um, because I think it'd be interesting to understand where we align on our sort of taste of product. This is Simi Hayes, um, Oak is the shade of the Skin Suede Melting Bronzing Balm. I use it with the Rose Ink Number 4 brush, and I literally just take a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Again, this is going to last me a very long time because I've made a little bit of a dent, but not really. This just goes right there to create a tiny little bit more of a sculpt. Do you see how it's created more of a shadow versus this side? There is more light this side because there's a lot more light just in that part of the room, but just you'll sort of see as soon as I hit the skin with it that it starts to become more sculpted on that side. And that's kind of how I do my contours. I sort of just do little sort of suctiony area, and then I'll take it on the nose on the eye, on the forehead. I love to use it on the eyelids, under the jaw. It's a great little bronzing balm. It's not too greasy in the finish. It's not too matte. It's somewhere in the middle. It's a natural matte. It's a natural finish. I wouldn't say natural matte, nor natural shine. It's like somewhere in the middle. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And it's a really cool little component packaging. Um, means component. The component's just like a little, little cute Oreo cookie. Next up, the CL powder with an SPF 50. This is a number one filter protect from CL. I love this powder so much. I'm not even a powder obsessed person. I use, I've gone through phases of like loving powders and I still do every now and again, but this one just took my breath away when I first used it. I was like, dude, this is an incredible powder. My skin felt like I just had the best facial of my life. Um, I like to take what's on the puff and take a brush. And then I sort of use the brush to sort of saturate um, areas of the face where I want a little bit more shine control, but it literally filters, blurs, perfects, protects. It's an incredible, incredible powder. I think it comes in about four or five shades. It's just amazing. And I will always scream from the rooftops about brands created by experts. Nikki is a makeup artist and she can do no wrong in my eyes. I think she's an incredible, incredible developer of product. She knows what she's looking for. She knows how to make a good product. And I just think there is, you can tell, you can tell this was made by a makeup artist. But like, look at that. You saw that that took 15 seconds, right? Like not even, and it will be like that. It will be like that until the end of time. So I'm putting this to one side. The, the thing that I would actually love to see from this brand, and I hate to do this because I don't want, I, it's so hard building a brand, and this isn't a dig, this is a perfect product. Would I carry this out with me in my handbag? Yeah, if I was going to somewhere where I was gonna be photographed a lot or if I was going to a shoot where I was doing my own makeup and I needed to, I would carry it in my personal makeup bag. Would I carry it around my bag in New York City to touch up with throughout the day? No, because it's loose and I don't typically carry a loose powder with me in my handbag. If there was a press version of this on the market, I would buy it in every single shade twice, one for me, one for my kit. Um, and it's just amazing, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a powder pressed, pressed is my preference for in my handbag. Um, but the downside with pressed is typically you don't get as much pickup with your brush, so therefore you don't get this effect as quick. So everything's got a pro and everything's got a con. Okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about brushes. This isn't really a surprise, these aren't really new, but my um, Spectrum collab kit, um, the KGH Spectrum collab kit, there's some other brushes mixed into here obviously, um, is still available and it was only supposed to be a year long sort of relationship and partnership and um, you know, available product but we extended and extended because it's just everybody's favorite brush kit and i'm so so proud that we've created a brush kit that like my celebrity clients are obsessed with my community here on social media is obsessed with i'm obsessed with it and it's just gone from strength to strength so it's still gonna be around for a while i don't know if there's any reasons to really discontinue it at any point and it goes on sale sometimes sometimes it's not it's just an epic product and uh truly like the brush set that you sort of only will really ever need that said, there's always room for more brushes. Like I don't have only my brushes from Spectrum in here. I have a lot of a lot of different ones, um, but it's just a great little brush set. So I wanted to just give that a little honorable mention. Okay, I've spoke a lot. I wonder how many words I've said in the past 14 minutes. I'm gonna do skincare real quick. Uh, and that I think is actually it. Um, there is this, Sophie Pavitt, the Mandelic Clearing Serum. 
Sophie Pavitt is a esthetician based in New York City. She's a friend of mine, she's Welsh. She's an incredible, incredible facialist. I always feel so snatched and so plump and so juicy and so gorgeous when I leave her um, practice. Um, and I just love her and this product is amazing. Whenever I've got little breakouts like this, for example, I haven't used it for a few days because I've been sort of traveling and my routine just isn't back to my norm right now. But when I'm being good and I'm on my routine, I use this sort of every other night before bed. Um, simply just when I need it. I feel like I use it more so. Um, it's amazing, her products are beautiful. So if you haven't yet tried something from Sophie Pavitt and you are breakout prone, this is amazing. And then my favorite other skincare product for a little bit of an honorable mention is this, the Road Glazing Milk, the Peptide Glazing Milk. I called it Peptide, it's called Ceramide. The Ceramide Facial Essence Glazing Milk is a lightweight moisturizer that basically sits underneath your moisturizers or you can just use it as your moisturizer if you feel like you don't need that much moisturizer. I use it on people's bodies to hydrate them for red carpet scenarios because it has this gorgeous, gorgeous sheen and gleam. Um, I just love it so, so much. And so if you haven't tried anything from Rode yet, maybe this is the one. The other thing that I wanted to mention was a hair care product, which is this. This is what's actually in my hair right now and that's kind of keeping it a little bit tame. Sometimes I like my hair to be kind of big and a little, a little, you know, fuller, but sometimes I like it to be a little bit more like this. This, and I've touched my hair a lot in the past like 24 hours just because I've been out and it got wet at work yesterday and I've been like messing with it and whatever. This product is so amazing. It is called Skimdo. It's from a girl called Kimberly. She's British. She lives here in New York. Um, it's just the most epic thing. I don't know what accessibility is like as far as where you can get it, but like even that, like the fact that I can do that this product is, that's what's letting me do this because there's hold to this, but it still is touchable. It's a touchable hold. It gives definition, it gives hold. It is for very curly hair. It is amazing. And if you haven't yet tried it, I really would. Or even if you don't have curly hair, I would still try it if you like product to give you sort of a slick look or some sort of like, you know, malleability in the hair. Um, I feel like this really does do that for me. And so I love it and I will use it for a very, very long time to come. That is all I've got time for. This video is 17 minutes. I mean, I could keep going, but I feel like I uh, have three or four other YouTube videos to create right now because I just want to bank some stuff to get it live onto the internet. Um, thank you for watching. Drop below a comment on which product if my roundup is your favorite. It could be one, it could be multiple, it could be none. If you don't like them, that's also okay. We all like different things for different reasons, but these are particularly just my favorite things uh, of 2023. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.